Just picture that plate of hot, creamy carbonara served with a sprinkle of pecorino and a good amount of delicious guanciale. I can almost smell it. Eat it on your balcony now that the weather is nice with a good glass of wine and you'll feel like you've been transported to Rome. The day has finally arrived. I'm excited to announce that we are making carbonara. carbonara. It's a traditional Roman pasta and it's also our go-to pasta. So we are going to show you the recipe just in a moment. If you want recipes like this, subscribe and give us a thumbs up. These are the recipes that we grew up with and we'd love to share with you. First, we need to cook the pasta, so we're gonna boil the water in a big pot. In a medium bowl, beat together the egg yolks, the grated pecorino, and some ground pepper. And now mix together until it's combined. Now take a big pan and in the pan add your guanciale. Let it sit in the pan until the white part, the fat, becomes transparent. You'll know that it's done when it gets to that state and some of the fat will become liquid. And the heat has to be on medium high. Okay, when it reaches this point, it's done. Now that the water is boiling, add salt, add the pasta, and cook it until al dente. Just before the pasta and the guanciale are ready, we are going to add a little bit of the pasta water into the egg mixture and mix it all together until it's nice and combined and a bit creamier. While the pan with the guanciale is still on the heat, add your pasta and some more uh, pasta water and mix it together. Now add the pasta to the egg mixture. and combine it together until it becomes nice and creamy. Here we have it, our carbonara. Can't wait to try it. Yeah, the long wait mm -hmm. has finally come to an end and we're going to taste test it for you. Mm -hmm. I just wanna eat it all day. Yep. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. It's amazing, I really like it. It's very creamy and very tasty. You can taste guanciale and pecorino but you can even taste the pepper that it's just amazing it's just a hint yeah it's really good it's my and favorite pasta yeah just be careful with the amount of pasta water that you add into your egg mixture and your guanciale with the pasta because don't put too much or you'll get it a bit too watery mm -hmm. and that happened to us once so it was still good but you don't want it too watery you want it creamy we hope you enjoyed the recipe. Try it out. This is one of the best pastas you could make. And if you love this, let us know and we'll make more traditional pastas just like this. And for the ingredients and measurements, you'll find everything in the description box down below. And we will see you in, in the next video. video. Bye. Bye.